give us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We will now remain standing. the service leader I am the bishop of the diocese of northern Uganda we have bishop time we are being assisted by many bishops here and many other clergy at the right time they will be introduced to you we are on peg in trouble we live we live for the Lord and if we die we belong to the Lord for this very reason Christ died and return to life so that he may be the Lord of both. Public security arms to establish supplicy, religious supplicy in their institutions. Three, I appealing to all of us can we get saved? If all of us are saved, Uganda would be different. There would be no such killing. You carry a gun for a purpose, not just for silly behavior we are seeing today. May the Lord be with you. Thank you very much.
It applies to Bishop Rukami too. We are at a movie like no papa from Popor Fair. We want to pray. Some leave overseas. Make a hell of a care pillow fight. Make a We got Archbishop Wang, Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugaro, Amei Karni, and the Will Rahanam. And many bishops who are not able to be here, but they have sent their apologies. Kerene no kena pol, me peotwar birokan, eno kena kalo, kwena, me kwa yekisha, kerekunge. The widow Joyce, me madata, mad Joyce, the children, kodena, the clan leader, Sam Iwala, a widow, Sam Iwala, the people of Oyam district. Wakulong, me, this we call Yam. All of you mourners from the greater northern Uganda and all over the country and beyond. Wakulong, 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 It makes clever men weep. And me, yo, I'm a tear, I'm a chicken, 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 and surely for us on this occasion, at the training, we were the Kikara Chalman. Death has robbed us of our father, our leader, our brother, our minister. To Uyaho Koibunwa, Uminwa, Papawa, Atelawa. It is a time when we are boldly asking many questions. Obedo Kare, Ameo Wehoa, Kurtio Penyore, Penyapol. And we are asking God, why? God, why have you punished us like this? God, what have we done wrong? And now what next? Indeed, well, His justice will prevail. Your Excellency, our Chief Mourner, if I may speak on behalf of the people in this region, and even on my own behalf, a dear friend to Honorable Machin Wogo. Please, Receive our condolence from all the northern bishops and the fellowship, whom I am their team leader. I want to use this word. The one tall, the one the one the the one uh, but you, you cannot struggle, struggle with, with the honor. honor. Or oh, compete, compete with him. We, we are gathered here as, as Christians. Christians. And, and so, so as Christians, Machudogo was one of us. I was here last month to be able to receive a new parish, parish which he applied for, and Bishop Nina granted the new parish. And we are here looking at the new addition. Maybe we will get in. I can't go to Kwatanyen. I'm not going to go. I can Bishop Nina take away. I have been a bit to Deni here. We are not here. Maybe you you can go to Kwatanyen. And he told me he was going to wed in this June in that new parish church. And the Mokubora, Nedwena, Bishali, Abia Bini, Uduen, 
and we eat. You know, you and you make it that America because it's a new no no. And we planted mango trees in memory of receiving the new parish together with him. What are the things I am me? People, you come to come to you no no. And there are he breaking the for you. And so as Christians, we need to wipe our tears from our eyes with the words from the Bible. Words that will give us hope for life beyond the casket and beyond the grave. Joyce and the children, in a few moments, when we take the body to the grave, it will be a very hard moment. Joyce, I And so we need some words from the Bible to prepare us. In the letter of James chapter 4 verse 14 we read these words. Your life is like the morning fog. It is here a little while then it is gone. Medico. As you sit, as I stand here, we don't know about tomorrow. Our life is like a fog. This message must sink in our hearts. Our life is like a fog. Many times we have the temptation to think that the sick people, those who are ill, are the ones who are likely to die. But our life is like a fog. Honorable Machoduogo was not sick and the next morning he was no more. So we have to understand the implication of these words. It means our lives are vulnerable. Newton, Wawa, Kumtie, Ame Kumtie, Ogema Gema. But even if our lives are vulnerable, there are two things that we must get right. Especially when we are believers. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1, he had this to say to us. Having a style called French cut. Then there are people who build storied buildings. There are people who live in palaces. And many of the people in Lango will live in a round hut. Well, it is a building built by human hands. But Paul says words that should encourage us. He says there is a building that is in heaven and it is eternal. The building is not built by human hand, but it is built by God. This is what we know. 
a man in the one For some of us don't know this. On this occasion, as we bid farewell to Honorable Machi Togo, through this witness he's speaking to us, that as believers, when our body is no more, is no more, then we have a new home. Recently, I took a visitor from Sydney, Australia, to the airport. He's Bishop Gary Nelson. Gary Nelson. So then he entered the plane. And we were looking at it. And the plane started on the runway. And it took off in the air. And we were looking at it. And it continued to go higher and higher in the sky. And then my son said, Daddy, he is gone. He is gone. Oh, this is for a little while like someone who has left with a plane. Because after three days we heard from Gary Nelson a text message, I have arrived home. So the wife called Christine. She was at the airport. They saw the plane arrive with Gary. Me know the Christina. I ain't a young. I don't know who no. Me know no no dege. Do I do no? E e e dege me. And so for us believers, don't be one you are not giving it yet. Death is not the dead. The end of the road. So we all made it. You keep me you at one. Death is not departure. Actually, death is an arrival. Arriving home to be with God. So with that image, with that image, Paul is confidently saying to us, Paul, we know that if this earthly tent is gone, which he compares it to a tent like this one I'm standing under. Then we have a building from God. To ask you to clap to appreciate God, He has a building for us. And that building is eternal. And you know, logic, there's something called logic. Logic has it that a house not built by human hands, human hands cannot build it. We want to thank God. He has a home for all of us. All of us. You know the temptation for us in the world now, we have uh, many segments of life. I'm now the Bishop of Lango. So when I come, sometimes my Christians, they receive me from far away. But make no mistake. Make no mistake. Before God, we are equal. We are leveled by death. 
And he told me how he has cut down all the exotic mangoes because he realized the Bazungus want us to lose our indigenous mangoes and he will not allow. He's going to replant the indigenous mangoes. He took me to the banana plantation, you call it matoke plantation. Then he took me to the fish ponds which are down there. And he gave me the feeds and I was feeding the fish and he was watching. And we discussed with microfinance what will happen. He was telling me more details. The point is, he is a working person. And he worked to ensure that we develop our people and we are productive people. And we are productive people. He was the chair of constructing the retirement house of Bishop Nina. And we were the vice chair. We have fully lost the worker. We have lost the worker. But he works because we serve the working God. Our God is a working God. And he wants us to be people who work. I have not yet been to heaven, but I can assure you there seems to be no place in heaven for lazy people. And he left a family with assets. Some of us have testimonies. Which are so sad. We have our own people who have never worked and never left assets for families. One or two can just deal. Men you have can a men pay me to teach. They are not here. I will go with me. We have to work because we are going to give accountability to God. One year or two, the other one no bill bill. Report. Men teach what? What about? Our chief mourner. Akuma duo. His Excellency the President has been in this region and encouraged the people also to work. I do not visit Uberbino to Maloka. And that model farm is four acres. And if you know that, take the model farm, Mary Yere, May Hamwen, Adan, Jamiki, Amir, you would not know. And he tells our people in Lamo to work, teach. Make sure not teach me each taken. He tells people to be doing the farming of bringing capital of income and not subsistence for the stomach only. All this is about work, but it comes from God, a working God. People of Lango, we have a lesson and a legacy to inherit. Paul says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 10 to 12, 
that he who does not work should not be given food to eat. I support Paul's advice. We must work. Our children should copy our examples of being hard working people. In fact, in the Diocese of Lango, we have a slogan the Bible and the whole for every family. Church people we command and urge the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the bread they eat. Ah, na me da kumne, upalo ko ni ako bubore ni kuri jo ano na me ti ya kina wuno a kuwe jero kini kini ro nani ubero mo no chako ti na ti yu kina bear na ti yu kina me miyo kyo no kuon kuyo gari a me kina ramo chamo. When we walk, kau ti yu ti. The Lord will bless it. Oba abiru me yugu me. And we will have money and food. Ubero bino wangu ubero kiri chien ne kiri chien. And it will be nice if you are an MP in this region. Because then people will not be asking you to give, to give all the time. They are going to be the man, like a university minister or you are a member of parliament. Two man, okay? Yeah, you are going to be the man, but you can't worry. I'm going to, yeah, yeah. Because, because they have something. They have something. I want to appeal to government. We want seeds, but sometimes the seeds we are having, they are rotten seeds. Please take keen interest. Even nuts. That is nuts. That sometimes we get cassava stems given to us, but they are already dry. Sometimes they bring it when the time to plant is well past, but they supply it anyway. We must be people who work to earn a living. We must be people who work to provide for our households. We must be people who work to provide for our households. In Proverbs 31 verse 27, Listen to these words. We copy. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. She is always working hard to provide for her families. Let me appeal to the men who are listening to me. We are all the opportunity to appeal confidently to you. Because our God is a working God. We created men and asked men to provide for the families. And Mashuku used to provide for the family. Today I see many women who work very hard, like this one in Proverbs, and they provide for the family. I also see some men who work very hard to provide for their families. But there are some men, perhaps some of them are even here. They have left the work to the women. To provide for the families. To pay for school fees. Almost everything 
They have surrendered. If you are here, and you are listening to me, or you are in Tihokin clan, or any other clan, you have to work because you serve a working God and provide for your family. And I always say this, and I want to say it again. Because God created Adam to provide for the wife, I am always providing for my wife. I'm a married man, and specifically, I provide money for her. Even this morning, if you call her, I provided for money. Because the responsibility is from God. Men must give money to their spouses. But instead there are some men who are being on the receiving end. No, we have to provide. And Mashiko, we did that well. I now conclude this way. Joyce, you are now a widow. I am your brother. Even after this, I want to stay very close to you. And the children. And the children. And the children. Because it is God who looks after the widow and the widows and the orphans. But be a widow who is in the Lord. And be the children who are in the Lord. To my brother. Of Tikokin clan. Going forward, let us not have a resentment or hatred towards those who might have wronged us. I appeal to you to follow the example of Christ. While he was on the cross, he asked God to forgive those who crucified him. As we continue to seek justice for honorable Machinogo, let us remember that vengeance belongs to God and He will repay. We must resist, therefore, the urge to take matters in our hands or seek revenge. We read in Romans 12 verse 19. Never avenge yourself. But leave it to the wrath of God. Why? In innocent blood. Innocent blood leads its cause before God. One whom Paul is talking to us about is saying God is our judge. He will lead his own vengeance. Don't Trust in God's justice. He will prevail. 
May God give us hope as we live without much of hope. May the Lord comfort you, the family, friends, the nation at this difficult time. Amen. 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 It's a time we are confused, but it's a time we can hope in you, and it's a time you can hold our hands. Bless us as we continue to mourn Honorable Machuduogo in your presence. And we commit every speech, every activity, that Lord, your spirit will be in it, and hope will continue to prevail. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you very much, Bishop. So the family to the family. Family. 
We love you, one more way, Lord. We love you, one more way, We love you, one more way, Lord. 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 Let us pray. Father, we now want to commit the family of the late Patrick Nola Matadulu to your hands. The widow, the children, the relatives, and all the, the whole clan that are mourning his departure in this world. There were days, and you know how many they are. And it was there, it was this time to go the way we went. We now want to pray for the widow, want to pray for the children, want to pray for the relatives and the whole clan. All those that supported, that you will wipe away their tears, that you help them to look to you, because you have promised never to give that to no one but And ask your blessing to remain with them, the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 ผมเป็นสาวดีสาวดีเป็นเจ้าเมืองเชียงเมืองเราอันดับหนึ่งเลยปีนุ่งเย็นนี้ท่านดูเนี่ยว่าท่านที่จะแบกแอนติควันเน
I want to encourage you to speak for two minutes. Thank you very much.
First and foremost, as the family. Government, expedite the investigation and give us the feedback of what happened, what was the motive of shooting our own son, 28 bullets. One person, 28 bullets. They have determined, they have planned, and murdered him in that cold blood. As council, we made a number of resolutions, but allow me to just, because of time, to summarize in this manner. As council of the Northern Regions, we made a recommendation, signed, and I submit a copy to you as it was directed. The address is to the President, and you are here to present your Excellency. I mean, His Excellency. That's our son, who was retired at the rank of Colonel Retired Kelly be given a posthumous promotion to a Brigadier General, I mean, to a, a Brigadier General, as even if he has passed. That was one permanent, I mean, very uh, uh, important rolling resources. Two, Council resolve and request government to upgrade our health center force that's in New York and as my northern regions. On the background that, if you look at northern regions, and now in particular I can mention, has got only a fight a general hospital. But when you cross check other districts and other regions, there are five general hospitals. But now, with a population of 2.5 million, we don't have a general hospital at all. Come to resolve that you help us to elevate this as a general hospital. That the family, His Excellency, is a loving Uganda, a revolutionary leader, love the country and love Masuro so much and so. He and the government adopt the children of the beleaguered family that retired colonel and left with the family and paid their school fees. Those who have finished studying be employed to replace and keep the family. <coughs> that government in the resolution of Northern Regions, when we are when burying our brother, the last speaker of parliament, we made a resolution and a request that government expedite the marking of the road from Bobby to, I mean, from a year to Bobby. And in that marking, government, because Masitoga whispered to us, that the road was going to be worked on. As that road will be worked on, council resolve the road from Cheme up to Young Town Council in Akuru, be Tamak and be named in his honor as Masudo Road. Council demand that Masudo was our champion of peace. Masudo wedding. Just sneeze. Whoever wants to attack the northern regions, the Lao in particular, would know that they suffer. And that's why it was named Masugo. That we have lost him now. Council resolve and request government to put a public source Karamoja. So that the, the Karamoja should not be served Lao and Tony and Tensi as a whole. Because we are talking about the threat now, government should have a solution. I mean, a post also, but permanent resolution. If not, government should provide to us the mover, and we should not defend ourselves and trust our the government that come to us. We have done it before when the rebellion was there by point. Council, let us also that uh, government should be fine. Which I have made mention, and about all as I conclude, there are number of resolutions here. But because of time and my colleagues are here with me, they didn't want me to talk so much. But I want to summarize that the number of resolutions have been put here. Last but not least, we have lost one minister. Among the few that were appointed in Lao and the Northern Region, the resolution here which I cannot forget to mention. That the appointing authority is excellency, the president. Look around and give us another position of a minister. We're not demanding which ministry, 
But let's not find sons and daughters, any of them among those in the northern region, particularly now, they are committed a minister of his wish to replace the position that we are wearing us. We now have a minus, the view that we are giving. And quite a number that we have made mention. And I could not say all, but we want to appreciate because of time. Madam Excellency, we trust you and we love our government, NRS. We love His Excellency the President. We love our generals. But I have to say this that you may not know you are enemy. The person that you think is your enemy may not be the killer in that matter. But the pretenders who pretend to love you are your first enemy. And I want to have you as a member of parliament, ministers in that order. I am a district here person. Sometimes I may also need to for a bodyguard. But from that level and that I would best. I don't need anybody else. Because of time, I have this petition to submit to Mr. the President. I have to then deliver to the Vice President. I have to deliver this copy to the Prime Minister. I have to deliver this copy to the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament. For a follow up, I have a copy to my member of Parliament. To allow us to represent the entire Northern region. This is the resolution. The roads, as I summarized, in the national statistics, only three kilometers, only three percent of the national road, the Tamar Road are in Northern regions. Other places are beyond that. We request that roads be tarmacked in our regions as made as possible. I thank you. I say all this for God and my country. Thank you very much. Allow me to invite the woman, Member of Parliament for the Young Honorable Santa Lumo One, uh, to come and uh, make her remarks and recognize our fellow members of Parliament. Thank you very much. Thank you. My Member of Parliament, you will have my copy before you leave. The Chief Honor, allow me at this point to invite the Honorable Members of and the former to come here just to wait because this has been our colleague, all the members, this and the former members. May I request you to step forward in the interest of time. Our chief manner has another engagement. We will be someone MP from Moroto. Can I call you to raise up your hand? We have all of our youth only MP for Pania. We have Honorable Robert Vitae Jr., MP Kiyoka. We have Honorable Agnes Atin Abea, MP Amorata. We have Honorable Tonana Odu, MP The Rooted South. We have Honorable Olobu James Dubai, MP Kiyoka. We have Honorable Samuel Biachuti, MP Polymouth. We have Honorable Kasami Lamata, MP Oboro District. We have Honorable Kumar Sibi MP, the very Chibuko district. We have Honorable George Odomo, MP Yara. We have Honorable Namaka Margaret, MP Far East. We have Honorable George Odomo, MP Yara. We have Reverend Father Charles Onen, MP Peter Laro Guru City Division. We have Honorable Auma Kenny, MP Panya. Honorable Bob Okai, MP Panya North. Honorable Muin Yohano, MP Bukongo East. Honorable Peter Joffrey, MP Taibo Division East. Honorable Mutumba Babu Chiboga, MP Chiboga, MP Chiboga West. We have Honorable Nakut Faith, MP Nakak District. We have Honorable Papa Lilian Obia, MP, Arua District. Honorable Omer So Emmanuel, MP, Jonam. We have Honorable Mutebi, Noah, MP, Nakasongola. Honorable Omara, MP, Utupe County. We have 
Patrick Ayota, the MD uh, National Social Security Fund. We have Honorable Major General Sam Kavuma, UPDF representative. Honorable Jimmy Akena, the party president of UPC and MP for Yera City East. We have Honorable Obong Eid, MP Lira West. We have Honorable Betty Aon, MP Bulu City. We have Honorable Susan Amero, MP Amuria District. We have Honorable Val Goli, MP Dokolo Law. We have Honorable Christian Akeru Kokadako, MP Ogure County North. We have Honorable Chibu Agnes, MP Navy District. We have Honorable Kadogo, Veronica, MP East Africa, Oriana. We have Honorable for Ira District. We have Honorable Kel Nelson, MP Baru North. We have Honorable Kawakutoli, MP Moya County. And you are former Minister of State. MP Oshen Peter, Honorable for Kone South. We have Honorable General Wazi, the UTF representative. Honorable John Martin, MP Abad Municipality. We have Honorable Villa Kalana, MP Amore. We have Honorable Dan Kileda, the former speaker of Iyala. We have Dr. Marsh, the former minister and also the MP for Papal. We have Honorable Mary Duogo, MP for Collins. We have Honorable Jebuna Kahi, the former member of parliament for Marudi. We have Honorable Kilefes Lagada, the former member of parliament for Oyam District. We have Honorable Betty Mola, the MP for Abad District. We have Honorable Lady Ogoni Max Pio, the former MP NRC. We have Honorable uh, Guru Moy, Charles Aguirre, Bajajan, the former MP for Eruda North. I think I have introduced all of them. May I be the former member of parliament for Yam County North? We have Honorable Sam Ebola, the former member of parliament for Erule South. Grace. 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 Grace, we have Honorable Grace, former woman member of parliament, Naka Songola. Betty Wala has mentioned. Uh, for now, parliamentary group, Honorable Judith Alie, can you wave wherever you are? Dear Monas, Permit me with your permission in the interest of time or back. They would have loved to say something, but our chief mother had something else and another commitment. May I request you to clap for all here? We tell you about you for what it is over. Any talk, till you come up here. But you are in.
Kibeki in a special way. Honorable Kim Mwezi in a special way. Dr. Pierre Mozi in a special way. Chief I mean, uh, the deputy police, army, director general ISO, director general uh, CMI, all those who came on the first day within one hour when we lost our dear brother. That's why I'm saying in a special way. On the second of this month at nine o'clock, I received a call from our dear wife, today widow, to Honorable Kevin Mola, calling me saying, Sam, come quickly to the home that shot your brother before nine o'clock in the morning. Call Dr. James to send an ambulance to take him to the hospital. She had not known the husband had passed away. And I was my dear wife who rushed to the scene. I called the director of Mulago Medical Services. I want to thank her very much. And two ambulances came on the site. But they could not take anybody or do anything. I want to thank the driver, Mr. Odongo, of the late. Who immediately called me and said, Uncle, my boss is dead. When we read the scene, I found my brother with his pistol, blood, as if he was not a minister or dressed in suit going to a cabinet meeting. We cried and cried and cried. The president called me. I told people in Corolla, and I'm telling you here, I could not know what to say, even to talk what I talked to him, my country member. Because I was over crying. I just shouted the said, Your Excellency, my brother is dead here. I am crying, my head is not working, I cannot talk. He said, I want the wife or I want somebody who was on the scene to give me the background. I said, he's only the driver. And he talked to the driver and it ended up because of the sadness we had on that day. He was shot with 28 bullets. His chief bodyguard Left and on him was shot with seven bullets. The total number of empty bullets on the ground, when the police and the army was on the ground, checked and marked with their black, had a charcoal or pen or whatever, I don't know, there were 51 bullets, empty one, on the ground. So I don't want to talk too much, because the story is very long, it's already dead. As the previous chairman said that they want to get the investigation, I don't know how the investigation will be because even the man who killed him was also dead. So I think also the investigation might be dead. <laughs> yes, because the main suspect is dead. So who are they going to find? Who are they going to investigate? The driver was there. The bodyguard was there, jumped away and ran away. There were only three in the car. So it is very difficult, but we we'll leave it to them. <clears throat> uh, I want to talk about Okello. We have been very good friends. We have been moving together until he died. On Sunday, we were with him in Tonga where we had prayers at the home of Alex Basas Okello, who is sitting there on the ground. He had invited us for opening a new church, which had built in the memory of his mother. And we took him as one of our clan members. So me and him had to go with the wife, Joyce. Three of us went together. We talked, and the preaching, which the Archbishop gave was talking about death, death, death. And it was underlining in the prayer book. Joyce will tell you or will talk or will show you the proof by his own writing. He left me there. He told me tomorrow I am 
going to where the Labor Day was taking place. I am rushing to Kampala for a corona test. You represent me there. I left there about 7 o'clock at night, coming again to Lira. Then in the morning he called me, have you read? I said, yes, I have read. Also asked him, have you read? He said, yes, I'm already on the ground. We agreed that we were meeting on Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Then I get a message, my brother has been killed. But that does not matter. Joyce is there, the children are there, the clan is there, the brothers and the sisters are there. We are there to take on, and we are ready to take on. Okero has five children. The big guy is called Saron Agwen Okero, officer in the police, SSP. I want to thank them I've seen. 
I told them half of the cabinet to be here, thank them for coming. And I want to thank everybody. And I told them that they are very many people. I'm not forgetting that my wife had to do that after. Uh, we have the special cousins, the late Colonel Victoria's wife, Flora Victoria. We were very close, my children were like our children. When she died, me and the day took over the children. When they had their uncle was dead, they came. The boy went in a home in Kulo Romo from third until today. They've been coming here bring us water, food, every day. I want to recognize it. Well, boy. The sister is Sarah and Pamela. They flew the whole way from London. They landed yesterday. They are here with us to buy the beloved uncle. My brother, Richard Okoli, also flew for the very good with the eight. The other sister of mine, Helen, Betty Bella, Kaka, my old son also Kaka, because people have been, I don't know everybody sitting, who can stand up for the competition. Richard Okoli, where is he? Eric Okaka, your wife and the rest. Thank you for coming. These are the people that have been very close, and many others. But I want to just to recognize a few. When we come, this is the driver who said all came because you know I want to see the car. So I want to thank you very much. Because Sabiki shot two bullets in there, told him you're civil and you ran away. And yet ran to the police to report, and then he's the one who called me when I was on the way driving that. He's already killed, he's not alive. Because Mama Joyce had gone to the nearby shops to buy something, and that's why I don't know why the film saw him firing, firing, looking for Joyce where she had gone. Because he, him being a bodyguard, he knew the saloon where Joyce was, he thought Joyce had gone to the saloon. So the first saloon, he didn't get Joyce, he was still fired. The second salute where Joyce goes, he didn't find that where he killed also himself. So we don't know his intention whether he's looking for her to kill her or what we don't know because he's already there. Uh, the Vice President, when the Joyce of the one, when we did the scene, she knelt down and put her across and started crying. Until today, she's still crying. Honor Betty Mola. Lastly, I want to introduce to you the widow. You might be so very Mola. I left her with Betty Mora 
inside and one of us is a great room. I want to thank her very much here. Me yeah, when I saw three dead bullets and the doctors told me yeah. I walked out. We drove back without any tears and I kept, kept on telling on the way. Thank you for respecting your work. I want to thank her here. <coughs> we have uh, another lady, Mama, Mama Rose, for the Kogunito. She's the mother of Daniel, no Frank, Howard no Kaka, who's a lawyer. Uh, Mama Rose. Misunderstanding. And you can live with her. But because of a child, you cannot forget. To introduce Rose was the second wife, no? third. Because the first one died, the mother. Uh -huh. I don't know why the other one, all the others will know in canon secret. <laughs> Rose. Rose is a teacher. I don't know why my brother used to love all the teachers. Because he got Rose when he was in Mobu Barak. He got her when he was in Nagasokona Barak. Then I remember the late Colonel Sola told me, Askar Nakula Pakiwanja, where he is. <laughs> so, I don't know the meaning. But this is Mama Frank Owen Okaka. They were still friends because of Okaka. But we have to recognize her in our family as one of the members for it. Uh, Mona's not finished the time. Yesterday I told my brother, Dr. Kaka, with his wife, that please you pray for the Balongo in our family so that it doesn't rain until we finish the battle. Then it can rain. I'm seeing their prayer is working. So I don't want to delay the Mona's but in brief, Okero's life history. Okero joined the army in 1980 at the rank of private. One of our brothers was called Captain Olong, who recruited him in the army. He joined as a private, he ended up as a colonel. He was promoted to major and appointed commanding officer of 501 Brigade, based in Opeke in Gulu. Promoted to Lieutenant Colonel as Commanding Officer, 501 Brigade Base in Obi. Promoted to Colonel in 2006 and retired from the Army to join politics. In 2006, he was elected Chairman of the 5 with 93% of the votes at NRM in the very difficult area of UPC. He served for 10 years as Chairman of the 5 in 2016, he was elected member of parliament for Young South Constraints, where he served until his death. I want to tell you briefly about leaving the army and joining politics, because it's very important. General Ronda was still the army commander. With the politics, you have to consult. The president called me and asked me, we want you to deliver pipes. I saw a told around that I've been given assignment. Then he told me, let me go and talk to the president. He talked to the president, the president told him, I cannot retire okay, from the army, he's a very good officer. So he told me, it's only you who can go and appeal to the president to retire him. So I ran the president, he gave me an appointment at 4 o'clock. I saw Jovina Kaki here and Honorable Beatrice Lagada. They were my witnesses, I ran them. Because that time Lagada was the member of parliament of a pipe that time. And Honorable Jovino was the minister of that time from Lama. So I told them, please, can you escort me? I have an appointment with the president at 4 o'clock. We agreed to meet at the Imperial Hotel at 3.30. We went three of us. The president asked me, Mola, what is your problem? I told him, Excellency, I asked you for five minutes. And to the point, General Ronda told me, you have refused to carry the retire. You want us to deliver a pipe. The only way we can deliver a pipe 
is through Kelo. Because in Kambiri area, Minakulo caught, killed everybody there. When you put fire and you see the smoke, they go and kill the people in all that area. So Kelo as a brigade commander went and come there for two months fighting with Coins people. And he feeded them all. And he invited the people to come and start cooking and sleeping in your house. As you are the chairman, that's the fire told you here. So they gave me the name Machudo. So the president told me I am going to release him and promote him because I told him if a child is clever in the class, when he's in PC, he goes to P4. P4, he goes to P5. P5, he goes to P6. How come he has been a major for 14 years without promotion? That time, the PPS was Honorable Amelia Chambate. He called and said, promote Okelo and release him from the army. I told Jovino and Victor, let's go. Thank you very much, guys. We walked out. I ran him from the gate. I said, my brother, you have been released from them and promoted. If you let me down, you don't get a badge, I will be dead. <laughs> he told me, I am not going to let you down. He went on the field, he succeeded. Within a year, a badge divided Uyam. Again, he resigned. Honorable Bidem said, I was the Minister of Local Government. He called me. He told me, Mola, go and talk to your brother. Not to make a political suicide, that is his word. His chance has come, let him remain apart. If he goes to Yam, he will fail. And that will be a political suicide, according to the uh, Honorable Bidem Sali. I called him again, he said, my brother, Honorable Bidem, I sent me to you. That he is a seasonal politician, he is advising you that you remain in a park, don't go to Yam. He told me, Mola, you know I got my name. The people of Yam will not let me down. And that is my home area where I was born. I will go. I told him, I wish you luck. He came, he conquered, and he won again. I want to thank him and God for that. That's how. He became a politician or uh, he conquered Oyam. So, I want to come from West Nile. The RCC of West Nile called me, said we need five buses for the Indos coming. The member of parliament of that area, I don't know what it is, I want to recognize him and thank him in front of everybody. What is this? Ah, where is it? Ah? This side, this side. Your friend. Please come in front. You are very important to our family, our brother law. He has helped us to mobilize the people of Arua. And the RCC of Arua. You see them? Oh, boy, you didn't meet me now. The honorable member here is a brother in law to us. He mobilized the people of Arua. Arua people, can you stand up for recognition? All your numbers, our heroes. Stand up, let the people of Lamu see that. I want to thank you in a special way very, 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 very much. When we went to Mali, we went with Chris for the Yena, as our mom between. By the way, is here again? Yena. Chris, Yena. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's important to recognize somebody. Chris, we went with him and they led Okelo, who was R RPC of Arua at that time. He had passed on. Thank you very much. Wait a For your office pass. So our wife will sit there, we have to continue looking after her. The people of Chanja, where Okelo was residing, they have come in two buses for the love that for Kelo, the friendship they have there. I want to recognize them. Where is your group? These are friends indeed. Because somebody who comes when he has problem, from day one, the LCA 
Mama Jaya, the beginning, in the saucepan, cooking for us, cleaning the house, doing everything possible. So I must really thank them. I say God bless you. This is our view. Now we are our sisters for our friends. Uh, last one. The organizing committee of Kampala, chaired by our Lord and Kelly the team, the voice, and the only retired team of Kampala. Can you stand up or tell it that you know, if you're there, you come in front because I have well your team. Because they did a very good job from that until yesterday night. They were still organizing the buses for bringing the monarch to the mass level. Long chairman and your team, just stand up for the whole zone because what you did, you can see by yourself because this group is all because of you. Then the leader and the young team, Akoyuka, and you for leader, where are you? I want to thank you with all your team and we to introduce you. We will go very beautiful and the those team. Point. It is not easy to say that nobody wants to die. Like me, I told people in Colorado, I've already died twice. So I'm sitting there, the third one, I will not die again anymore. The bishops are going to pray for me. So I'll be like a tortoise now over 100 years without any problem. I've already talked to my bishop. I need a friend from Gulu. I've already talked to Bishop Kakumba Gulu and he's already agreed that because my personal friend that you are dying already and said yes. Because the first message which everybody read was that the mother son is dead with my photo. Then in October 82 also I died and was in the mortuary. That's why I said I've died twice. So the third one I will not die now. With the help of the Bishop and God we will pray. The last is all of you who can whenever you are, stand up so that people see how you have been cooperating, especially the sisters who are in full uniform, the white daughters that will be in who are serving us here, please stand up for the community. I was now 98 years. When they died, they called me on the side, they lived in the court, that they sent me a car to pick me with my boat. I'm going to wait from the body of my son, who loved me more than anybody. I don't know if I can I'm dead. I have recognized the people of the world, but Joey's father and mother, they still alive. When this incident happened on the second, they arrived on the third from the world. They have been with us up to now. So in a special way, I want them to stand up and recognize them. Mama of Joyce and the father of Joyce from Arua.